Hey everybody and welcome back to Cyrilim. So, um, I explained a lot last episode, we got into the field a little bit. Now I want to explain a little more and then try and clear a duty um, and show you around the realm and show you different stuff. But first, um, what I have going right now is I have another orb going. And another orb is what you need in order to create another egg, which can hatch another creature, which is a more advanced creature uh, than its standard uh, core creature. What I mean by core creature are these. So with another, with another creature that you're trying to create, you can only create uh, nether creatures for creatures that you've already summoned um, so you're what you need to do and you'll get this quest and they'll explain it but uh, the short of it is uh, you need to go over you need to create um, create a gem area this is the gem area and it's like I want to conjure a new gem you can only conjure gems for creatures that you summoned previously. So I want to create a Timeless Master, so I had to get three cores, create the Timeless Master, and then come back and be like, okay, now I want to create another Timeless Master. I can go ahead and create gems for it, and it'll cost 115 essence. I've done that 15 times for the mission. And as you go, they're like, okay, once you get these, now what you can do, uh, once you've charged them, with everything that you're going to charge them with, which, uh, let me show you, uh, gems. See, I have all these timeless master gems in their various levels and all of that good stuff. Um, level 10 is the highest I can go for a gem right now, but they told us to diversify. It may seem like I only have two rubies, but that's because I have two of the same level rubies. Um, but they said make 15 because I'm going to pile all 15 of these into the nether creature that I'm creating. So right now I have a ritual going for the last activation. Um, the last activation of my nether orb, which is actually uh, my topaz activation. And you would need to build uh another what is this called uh you need to build an arcane vault and that'll allow you to activate your orb and i'm already doing the last of it now you can activate the orb however you want with whatever you want um you have emerald topaz diamond sapphire and ruby and those all go to different attributes you can read that in the library or they explain it to you um actually let me see gems so diamonds uh increases the amount of experience another creature gains in battle this attack emerald is attack ruby is maximum health sapphire is creature's defense topaz is creature speed and luck so with all that said you can see i've been grinding since the last time because i absolutely love playing this game and here is a tip for when you're playing this game it costs 10 of your power, right? It costs 10 of your power balance to start a new realm, right? So if I, if I wanted to start and go into a new realm from level one, I would come up to this, like it says, teleport to realm costs 10. I can teleport to a certain realm because I built that option in it, but that costs 15, right? I don't wanna do that because I'm comfortable at the level that I'm at. So what you can do is, you go, you get to whatever level you're comfortable sitting at, like level two, level three, level four, maybe level even 50. And you create a portal when you're ready, um, uh, when you've cleared the area. Or you just save it when you've cleared the area, right? And then you can exit out of the game and come back and it'll keep you at that same level, uh, level two, level three, wherever level you're at, but it'll change you to a different area and you can continue to grind 
in that particular or on that particular level difficulty that you're comfortable at with only uh, five mana cost which is really cool and that's a good way to kind of like pump up and bump up your uh, uh, power bounce now before we go there was something that I didn't notice I didn't realize um, that's important and that's under your own character so it's like uh, Porter I'm a level 48 mage life mage there's all the power and balance those are all the battles one stuff that I pointed out unspent royalty points press X to, to open royalty menu and spend them I didn't know that I could do that um, highest realm level I was realm level six and you can see all um, stats um, I haven't really forged many items because I you know I don't know I, I'm, I'm dedicating my resources to something else right now but I will dedicate myself to that later after I'm done with this whole nether orb thing but you press X right and there's a character creatures and perks I haven't done any of the perks yet because I don't really see a need for them right now. Uh, creatures, I haven't invested in my creatures just yet because I didn't really see a, a need for it. But there are things here for myself that I like to level up. Um, each uh, rank gains quantity items completing duty. Uh, yes, that's cool. I don't really need that. There was something else here. Shorter rituals, reduced merchant prices, treasure finding. Was it treasure finding? Uh, nah. Uh, I think it was better duty rewards. Yeah. So I'm going to give one to that. Get up to level three. And then... I don't want to shorten it just yet. Each rank increases the maximum number of spell scrolls. Spoils of War, Resources Game from Battle. Now, I'll do the Merchant. Yeah. Yeah, one more. Okay. So, I've decreased the Merchant prices by 4%. And Power Balance, Maximum. I'll take one from that. So, I can have 225% now. Which is good. And... And it increases the minimum amount of power balance you can have by 4%. That's really good, too. Um, so, now, let's just dive in. And I can explain different things. I have new monsters that I can show you. I'm really comfortable on level 1 or 2. I'm at level 2 right now. Because this is the one where I'm like, okay. I can work with this relatively safely. I don't have to worry too much about my creatures dying, and I get more XP out of it. Ah, I want to show you this. This is an enchantment box. This is a lucky gem box. If you insert a gem in this box, it will greatly increase the gem's level. I love these because you can go to the... Oh, I forgot where that gem place was. I'll find out for you in the video, but you can go to the gem place and you can level up you can manually level up each one of your uh gems but it costs like three thousand essence to do it but if you come out into these levels there's a chance that you can find these random level gem or random gem lucky boxes and they level your gems up a random amount you know you never lose with these boxes uh so you can gain one level, you can gain two, or it can take you all the way up to 10. Like the first time I tried, I did it with the emerald and it took my level one emerald all the way up to level seven. So I'm just trying to go back and make sure that I have a nice rounded figure for everything. Uh, you see, I don't have another topaz because I have a level 10 topaz and it doesn't go past level 10 right now. So level four defense, I want that dark for a moment. Your gem rests on a velvet pillow, only now it's much larger, more powerful than before your gems are now level 8. And for my Timeless Master, that is essential. Because the ability, I'm going to kill him first, because he is... Oh, dang. Okay. Alright, I'll risk it. 
you know, I'll go ahead and I'll try to kill what I can. Did that kill it? Yes. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, so now. Yes. Dang. Alright, well. It takes the thing's health down to whatever the current um, damage is, and it's one of the most annoying attacks that are out there. Great. Great. I love my troll arsonist. He is freaking awesome. He does so much damage, which is, I'm, I'm kind of holding out to see if I can find a better troll arsonist. And I may be going like fast with the text. The enemy get mummy and rival spans for the true form, a brownie captain. I haven't seen one of those. Um, because it does all kind of like status stuff. And if you get into the game, you can stop it and see um, what the status stuff does. I've seen it so much that um, I'm used to it. But, you know, if, if you really want to see something like that, you can go ahead and you can pause the video and slow it down and read it. I will tell you this right now, it's not that important. Um, because I'm, I'm trying to get to a larger point uh, and trying to show you, you know, the completion of an area. Maybe not how to do the trick because then I'd have to waste it, it's multi-hit. Because the, the thing's barrier wasn't shattered, but ah, it's dead now. It's not? Oh, wow. Thought that killed it. But okay. Okay, boom. I brought my fire angel, fire wound angel back to life. Oh, but yeah, the Timeless Master. The reason why I want a Timeless Master is and there is all of my experience points. Lovely. Alright, so, Rituals. You get energy from Rituals. I had this going before, um, and I got 463, so that ties into that. And hopefully I can show you the next step after we finish the, uh, after we finish with this realm. Uh, I think I have, oh, struck first. I didn't know I was going to do that. I have Blood Reaper. It's okay. Like, its innate ability is any attack that was going to kill it, it uses to kill one of your monsters instead. And it can do that, like, an untold amount of times, which is crazy. Is it not dead yet? Okay, great. Now he's dead. Uh, that inflicts stone, and stone can make your monster crumble um, at random. Or it's either at random or on the monster's next attack. Um, the Lich, it sacrifices like 20% of its, or it's like 10 or 15% of its current HP to make its attack to gain 50% more attack, which I'm not that worried about it. You know, it's kind of, it's a slow build, so it's like, mm, if I can, if I can get to it quick enough, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Yep. Yep. Where's my iron gold? Good. Oh, I love my iron golem. Like, my iron golem, uh... My troll arsonist and my my iron golem, my troll arsonist, my fallen carnage, which is the alien looking one, and my unicorn vivifier. Those are like the, oh, I thought it was gonna eat them. Those are gonna be the three main ones um, when it comes to uh, having a really great team because my Iron Golem just builds attack over time, which is absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, it ate it. Okay, now I'm just gonna extract, because that's always great, and it died. The Troll Arsonist does so much damage per attack, and that's before it gets a chance to strike. Um. The Timeless Master that I'm going for, 
its special ability, who am I gonna kill first? Let me kill you first. Nice. I think I can take it out. Yeah, I can take it out before it attacks, I believe. Okay, that's not bad. Come on. Uh, uh oh. I'm in trouble. Yeah, because it gains that Minotaur. While I think that could be a really good monster if you used it right, that Minotaur, it needs to take damage in order to um, scale the percent of attack it gets back. So for every attack it receives, it raises its attack by 20%. Which is like, okay, that's all right, but it needs to take damage. So unless it has a ridiculous amount of defense, you would pretty much have to create a nether version of it with nothing but sapphires in order to really make that thing a powerful asset. And then you'd have to provoke uh, all the enemies to attack your thing so that in one turn you could feasibly raise your monster's attack by 120%. But it's like, oh man, that takes a while and I'd rather just have a strong iron golem to go ahead and um, raise attack by 25% every turn. So it's just hitting people and going down the line and just taking people out. Ah, but I keep digressing from the uh, Timeless Master because I'm trying to explain things that are going on on the screen as I'm trying to explain my plan. Yes, my Iron Golem is ridiculously strong. It gets stronger as the battle goes on. I love that. Uh, but my Timeless Master will be a great asset because I want to have high defense. I want to have high attack and high speed because if it has high defense, its its ability is it has a 35% chance to reduce. Oh, cool! Uh, it has 35% uh, chance to reduce the enemy's HP to zero. Um, so this is. I am the powerful dwarf. Even though he never speaks, he's an unusually powerful dwarf who will grant you some of his power in exchange for one of your gems. Would you like to make a trade? Yeah, I usually say yeah. Like Iron Golem, I may keep that. Fallen Carnage, I may keep that. Springtime Aspect, not really. I saw a Summertime Aspect, but he eagerly clutches it and then he disappears. There are some realms where, you, I think it's the Grasslands realms or the Nature Realm where you can find piles of gems on the ground. And it just gives you random gems of monsters that you've uh, created. And since I don't really have any interest in creating a souped up monster or demon uh, from my starting six, I just usually use those to get more power. I'm looking for the shrine. Where is it? Bronze ticket, great. Who are you? King Potter, what are the chances of both being in the same realm? I'm looking for an enchanted candle for our gem temple. You have one around here, have you? Ah, oh, a gem temple. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, three crystal. You curiously pry open the Iron Maiden, raw meat and flesh dangle from large pointed spikes. The smell is foul enough to make you dry heat. Fortunately, the sight of treasure takes your mind off of those. Forest Priest Core. Yep. I have plenty of those, so I don't have to worry about it. This person appears to have been cruelly murdered by the device that they're attached to. They won't be needing these resources any longer. So, if I have a creature that has a chance to reduce things HP to zero, that means that I can use it if it has high defense to provoke the enemies, right? Once I provoke the enemies, the ones that have their HP reduced to zero, I can use my Fallen Carnage to eat them, heal itself, and then continue to uh, gain multi-hit from each enemy it co uh, consumes, which is awesome. And then the troll arsonist can go down the line and just make enemies weak so that my fallen cards can just eat all the corresponding enemies. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna insert another gem. 
so I have just level five gems, right? Okay, so yeah, try to max out our sapphires. It needs defense. Level six, yeah, see? Sometimes it's high, sometimes it's low. All right, I got, I have plenty of those. Got a crystal. I'm looking for the shrine that pumps up. All right, this Minotaur wants to fight. Let's do it. All right. Dire Wolf Hound, a tro troll arsonist. Well, you know, either or, they both kind of suck and are annoying. So if I can take out one, that's fine. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god. Well, people need to die. That's... That's what that tells me. That's not good. You know, they took out my, uh... My, uh... My healer. Great. Okay. Can I take him out? No. Mentor slams fist to the ground, shaking the earth beneath it. Oh, balls. I might be in trouble. Yeah, because they took out my healer. And people are stunned, and that's not good. Yep. I mean, I can pull it out. But if people remain stunned... Oh, boy, yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. This sucks. Okay. I mean, this really sucks. He's going to kill my golem. And I don't like that. Okay. All right. All right. I have a spell book. I do. Uh, okay, is he... Ah, uh, he's not dead. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. I need my spell book. I need to resurrect... You. Yeah. Hopefully, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, fudge. Okay, I died. I lost 30 power balance. That sucks. Okay, but at least I can show you this. Did I get enough to freaking... No, I didn't. So screw it. I'm going to use my consumables. Um, bright shard. Yeah, use it. Okay. My nether orb activation is complete. So cool. I can show you the nether orb thing, and I can give, I can regain my power balance. Just losing it there is annoying, and that's the thing is. You may run up on groups of enemies that just absolutely just just devastate you. Oh no, this is where I want to be. They absolutely just devastate you and they'll send you reeling back and you got to spend like 13 power to get back. Unless you save like I do, spastic before every fight. And if they do that, all you got to do is just um, exit out of the game and come back. And it'll put you in the throne room, but you'll have everything that you had prior to that save, and you'll just start in a new realm. Which is great. That's what I've been using. Arcane Vault collects your energy, then begins to emanate a strange yellow glow. Suddenly, the vault opens, revealing another orb. You pick up the orb and gently place it in your back. Okay. So I finished enchanting my nether orb. That's great. Go back and speak to Deimos, because that's the first step for that. Excellent, you're finally ready to create your nether egg. Speak with me again when you are ready. Cool. Creating the nether egg itself is the easiest part of the whole process. Travel to new realms until you encounter a nether creator. Give him a core and all of your enchanted gems 
that are attuned to the same creature along with your fully activated nether orb he will use these to create your nether egg once you have obtained your egg return here and i'll show you how to hatch it okay so now we're gonna spend 10 so if you're keeping track i've lost 40. ah see Oh no, this is a charm fragment. Okay, so we're in the nature realm. So we might see those piles that I was telling you about. And that's what I was trying to find. This. Saying probably before you was a shrine. Likely crafting the vision of an important figure relevant to this world. As you approach the shrine, a feeling of warmth overcomes your senses. You gain 50% additional energy from winning battles. The effects disappear if you leave the realm. Cool. Now that I'm back on level one, my monsters do much more damage to these creatures. Like, that should take him out. No, well. Uh, well, it didn't take him out. I need to be careful using this because if I attack uh, these enemies, that wartime priest, the red dude with the knife and the mace, will heal whoever I attack with my death creature. Okay, so now they're all going to do their attacks. It's fine if they kill my ancillary monsters. You know, as long as they don't kill my Unicorn Vivifier, I'm usually okay. Okay, there we go. That's good. And... <clears throat> yeah, see? Because I blindly attacked with my uh, Death Creed. Uh, see? That's why I'm trying to kill that thing. <sighs> oh, God. Okay, good. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, now, no. I mean, I guess that's okay. It's gonna kill my troll arsonist, and that's fine. I don't mind that. But I gotta. Mm -mm. How are we all? St oh, cause he slammed his fist on the ground. All right, well. Stun, like group stuns, those suck. Okay. Okay. And, you know, oh. Uh, oh, man. Okay. Good, it's back. And this is the one that's provoking my creatures. Good. Okay, good. Oh, because it was reviving those creatures too. Okay, now. It's dead. Great. Great. I can survive this battle. No. I got a... Okay. A war priest score. That's fine. I just don't want it healing anybody anymore. Because that is really annoying. There we go. That's done. And now, this is done. Great. I've survived, I've got experience points, I get plus two power balance. And that's part of the duty here, is to take out these enemy packs, but... No. Ugh. I mean, it's cool that I get to show you all these creatures, but it's like, oh god, it's annoying, because I'm trying to actually accomplish something in these videos. And I go after select monsters, because I know that they're gonna be a nuisance later in the battle. Yeah, see, like, I can eat that one. It's a toss up between those two, but I'm gonna try and kill this one as soon as possible because he just takes chunks off your life. Okay. My creatures have higher defense, I'm much stronger than them, so I should survive this fight. Uh, because I am on the level one realm. Kinda wish I had started us off on a level one realm. Nice. That's the majesty of multi-hit. It just digs at a creature. All right, here we go. Come on, he's gonna throw it at the skull? No, cool. Got rid of that one, it's great. And, come on. And it got to eat. Yes. Awesome. Um, so where is it? Uh, okay. So found charm fragment, found 89 essence, great. Where 
is the person? There's supposed to be a... Whoa, hey. All right, you get to see a Banshee. It's not bad. In fact, I'm gonna take the Banshee out first. I won't take the Banshee out first. I'll take the M1 out first. Cool. All right, let's see you working on the Banshee. Oh, ah, I thought that was gonna eat it. Okay. And trust me, the reason why I'm not extracting, excuse me, the reason why I'm not extracting more from these things is because I already have plenty of these. When I grind in between videos, um, I make sure that I take the time to get everything that I need to get from these things in the interim. Just get rid of you so you can't burn any of my people. And, oh no, that's gonna, oh, I thought it was gonna make a splinter. Splinters have a chance to heal or get shell and, oh, it's so in depth. I was hoping I could find another dude. I mean, I don't mind doing this, but geez, man. Like when you're sitting here by yourself, this is fine. Um, okay. At least it didn't slam the ground. It should be dead, great. Okay, I get all my stuff. People leveled up. Cool. All right, nine brimstone, which is okay. Ninety-three brimstone. Maybe you'll be in here. Um, and I think last time I showed you a duty, or you know what it looked like when you cleared a duty. So. We don't have to worry about that necessarily in this video. Um, let me see. Okay, epic drum music playing as I search this dude out. I was hoping that, because most of the time when uh, Deimos or Damos tells you to do something, they'll give you uh, whatever it is you're trying to do the very next, uh, or they'll give you whatever you're trying to accomplish as your very next step, um, as the very next thing that you do. So when he was like, you know, travel the guy, the realms and find a guy who will help you enchant your nether orb, I was hoping that, you know, we would have a stroke of luck and the guy would just be here like, yo, you want to enchant your nether orb oh that's great i can help you or be a creepy dude like i would you like to see these golden squirrels but uh no don't don't see the guy and i'm hoping to not run into any more monsters for right now while i usually love running into them because they give me energy and resources and experience points which is awesome uh, that's not him. But if I don't finish these things off, they're going to become extremely annoying. Like, they can follow you and fight you um, by touching one of your monsters. It's, uh, restore death spell to heal. Yep, 84. It negated everything that I did. Oh, nice. Cool. Okay, now... I gotta get one more from the, oh yeah, I forgot there was that horse there. Oh, crap. Okay. Iron Golem, attack that. Okay. Okay, I don't mind that. Okay. I just don't want him to attack the wrong thing. Great, it's dead. It's not gonna bring any more monsters back. Cool. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so hit him. Cool. Let's extract. Good. Now I think I have three from him, which is cool. I just like having three um, of most monsters in case it's like, oh, I want to create another uh, of such and such. I already have it at my disposal because I did the work up front. All right, cool. Okay, come on. Uh huh. Kick him. Great. Yep, Fallen, yep, Iron Golem, for the KO, for the win. Yep, four power balance, I got all that. Remaining factions too, it's great. K, 
Okay. He's just a gambling one, right? Yeah. Um, you can gamble with these guys. I don't recommend it unless you're in the home realm. Ah, another box. Good. Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's finish out Sapphire. It'll probably be seven, yeah. Yep. Save the game. Yep, see? Came on to me by touching one of my dudes. Okay, um... Yeah, all three of these kind of suck. Great. I'll take that. So let's... And then let's... Extract. Yeah, I do that just to waste a turn. Because I don't feel like making him defend. Because most likely, they're not going to hit him. Great. Killed himself. That's what I like to see. Okay, boom, got him. It's terrible, they're targeting my healer. Don't need that. Oh crap, yeah, I forgot. Death creature. Usually it is just like sitting here and unless I'm trying to be strategic and get something, it's just grinding. I'm gonna mash the X button because I see it. You know, unless it's like, there we go. Okay, now. Waste that turn, because now I'm going to target that guy. Ah, awesome. Great. Okay, boom, got him. And time to finish you off. Great. Great, got all that, got more power bonus, got more power, it's good. And it's just one more uh, thing, so, let's see. All right, and this really does remind me a lot of uh, Dragon Warrior Monsters, where the entire screen is blank until you walk across everything and reveal everything, which is nice. You know, I kind of like slash admire the bold uh, step to, excuse me, make the player feel like they're walking into the unknown. Ah, I've created a new artifact, a ribbon. Luck 60, maximum health 72, grand ability. Hail to the king. I don't know what that is, but now I have it so I can go uh, look up the abilities that I found. That might actually be really good. I don't know what hail to the king is. All right, come on, dark area. Be that creepy dude who's walking around looking to make monster eggs for no reason. And Carnage Spike, yeah. A lot of my items, you'll notice in RPGs that I play, I don't use a lot of items when I'm actually in the game because I don't think about them, honestly. Aha, there's another box. I'm gonna save the game. And now we're going to insert the gem into the box. So let's take the level six. Level 10. Great. That is exactly what I was looking for. So I've maxed that out. And okay. I want to take him out because he will be annoying if I don't. Because Skeleton Sniper's ability is it has the chance to one hit KO any of your creatures and that chance increases the more damage the particular creature takes and it's like uh -huh, I don't need that in my life right now plus I already have three of them so I didn't feel the need to do anything more. he is probably provoking my creatures since the fortresses that you see tend to be the tanks of the group like if you run into a fortress no matter which one it is, it's always going to provoke your creature. It's not really going to attack. Like, watch. Enemy strong. Oh, it's stunned. Can't act. Great. So you might as well just go ahead and take it out. And you, the springtime aspects and the bats, uh, they will do major damage. Or they will provoke your creatures because they have high chances of dodging. Great. That's what I wanted. 
there's also a Phoenix that I want to get. Nice. Now you saw a multi-hit, which is cool. Um, there is a Frozen Ice Phoenix, and I love Phoenixes in games. <clears throat> Especially when you can do different things with the Phoenix, like making an Ice Phoenix or making an Electric Phoenix. Something other than the norm of the Fire Phoenix is really appealing to me. Two power balance. I'm level 49. Cool. Gain three royalty, three. Ah, now we've completed a duty, so I can at least show you that. So you and your creatures get that. I gain one royalty point. You get one royalty point for every duty that you complete. And then you get some items, which is cool. So there are no more monsters in this realm, which is great. That allows me to just walk around, which is ever so pleasant and just reveal the rest of this map and hopefully find the dude. Um, okay, so there's this giant black area down here. Ah, another treasure chest. Got it, handful of essence. Always welcome. And he was not here. Isn't that wonderful? So what I'm gonna do is, um, it'll probably be a while since I did uh, two back-to-back -back weeks of this game just to try and show you different things and explain different things uh, so I am going to take a break not from playing this game but from putting it on the channel until something major happens until I find something else that's really big and then you know I'll bring it back and we'll play a weekend video and then I'll show you some other cool things and we'll have a great time but right now since I'm looking for a dude, I'm going to use my own thing. I'm going to come back here. Uh, so all I have to do is just use the portal to dip back down in there for 5%. And uh, I'm going to cut the video here. So thank you so much for joining me. It's the weekend, so you know what that means. Eat good food, drink good drink, be in good company. If you are watching this and you are at work for shame and i hope i was able to bring a little bit of happiness to your day thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me and hang out and i am the outlier and i will see you all in the next video